Miss Ashworth, I was worried sick about you. Are you all right? How did you get back? I walked. You saw something terrible in that fog, didn't you? I saw a monster. Got the burger. <laughs> no? What? What am I supposed to do in here? Take a shower? I feel like taking a nice relaxing bath. I think I deserve that much. You do. You do, Susan. You definitely are. A nice relaxing bath after blowing out his face off. <laughs> it's a good. Oh my. Uh. Miss Ashworth, I need to ask you something. Can no. I come in? I'm okay. in the bath. Is it something important? Yes, very important. The fate of the world depends on it. Uh, I'm naked in here. <laughs> I'm naked here, you know. Whatever it is, it can wait. But it can't. I need to know, Miss A. Well, tough. I'm trying to relax here. I want some peace and quiet, if you don't mind. And I don't like people seeing me naked. Fine, not a problem. I'll just ask you to the door, then. I'm cooking up some pancakes. What do you like on yours? We've got strawberry jam, maple syrup, and chocolate spread. You're doing what? Pancakes. You need some food, Miss A. When was the last time you ate? I can't remember. See, you need a good meal. That'll cheer you up. Why would that worry you? You're funny, Miss A. You want to know why? It's because I care about other people. And I believe nothing spells TLC better than sweet pancakes and a cup of hot green tea. Well, after the whole burger fiasco, I miss pancakes. Granted, I personally prefer waffles usually, but yeah, pancakes. Oh, are nice. I like pancakes. I'll have one of each. Oh no, you'll have two of each. I made so many that'd be enough for an army. I don't really eat much. That's because you haven't tried my pancakes yet. And if you don't leave me alone now, I never will. But really? Why? I can smell something funny. I think your pancakes are burning. I'm so full up. Where did you learn to cook like that? My dad taught me. He was the king of pancakes. I'll wash up, if you like. I can do that. I like washing up. You do? Really? Really. I'm a good girl. And this is my treat for you, after all. Looks like we got the rain back. I almost felt like something was missing. Do you think it will ever stop? I mean, what if it doesn't? Then it will rain for a million years. I'm not sure I get it. What's the point of that? What did you say it was called again? For the third time. Social network. Oh, Lord. Why is it so difficult to remember? I just find the whole idea really stupid. Why would I want to tell people that I'm having a shit day? So maybe you would feel better for sharing it with your friends. But I don't have any friends. No, you wouldn't with this attitude. You, on the other hand, seem to have 274 of them. 
How is that even possible? Well, what can I say? I'm very likeable. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, they come every time you play the piano? Yeah, I don't really play that often. Mostly when I feel really sad. Maybe I actually play more often than I thought. You saddo. I know a song written just for you. Remind me to play it to you sometimes. It'll cheer you up. It's called All Flowers in Time Bend Towards the Sun. Flowers, yeah. Of course they do. Do you know it? It's written by Jeff Buckley. He would have been bigger than Cobain, you know. I never heard of him. No, he probably didn't. He drowned in Mississippi when he was only young. I've created a profile for you. Maybe now you'll learn how to use it. What am I going to do with it? Just look for people you know. Invite them, talk to them. It's a good way to keep in touch. Maybe you could refresh some old friendships? I don't know. I can't think of any names. I probably never really cared enough about anybody. How about people you went to school with? Your old colleagues from work? Nope. Friends. Zero. At least they're right about one thing. I'll add you later. That'll be a start. I made us some coffee. Sit down and talk to me for a moment. I'm having a bad day. Could do with some company. Sure. Coffee sounds great. I'm getting convinced the teacup is the devil cat again. Because that sinister outline of the psycho old lady showed up in the window he was sitting in at the end of the other chapter. I'm seriously convinced there's got to be some connection between that cat and that psycho. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway. Hi, Mitzi. What's wrong, Mitzi? Well, I'm not sure how to get started with this thing. I've been thinking about it the last few days and I just don't seem to get any good ideas. Maybe I've been a fool all along looting myself that I could find where that sick bastard is hiding. Maybe I can help you. I have lots of free time, you know? Last night, I made this, well, map. It's a map. I made a map. This is our building, all four floors. There are two flats on each floor. You really want to help me? That's so great, Miss A. How will I ever pay you back for this? I'll think about it later. But we haven't found him yet, have we? No. But I feel that together we stand a chance. Twelve. So, let's talk about it. What do we know already? Uh, rude bald guy lives in flat six. I know that rude, bald guy lives in flat six. I told you about him, didn't I? I think so. It's that guy who came complaining about the noise, right? 
Right. That's Brian Palmer. Let's mark him on the map. What else do you know about him? Not much. Wait. I remember some woman lived there with him. I've not seen her for ages. They must have split up. Could he be our potential suspect? Well, yes. He put a... Basically put a freaking hit out on Susan and her cats. The psychotic bastard. If not for him, she probably wouldn't have been grabbed by the freaking pest control lunatic and taken a maniac freaking mansion. Yeah, I suppose so. I think so. Okay. We'll take a closer look at him then. Uh, what else we got? We can cross off our flat. We can cross off our flat, of course. Good. That leaves us with only seven flats. Also, there's an old man in flat five, right opposite the Brian's place. Old man? Odd married couple that lives next door. There's an odd married couple that lives next door. Yeah? What do you know about them? Well, the man is called Joe Davis. He seems nice, quiet type. But I heard him shouting a couple of times, and he sounded almost like a different person. Like a madman, you know? I gather they must have some serious relationship problems, and they're trying to sort them out behind closed doors. It's impossible to hide this personal dirt from your neighbours. I know it's none of my business, but I can't just plug my ears and pretend I don't hear what's going on there. And the wife? Ivy Davis. Or is it Sophie? I can't remember now. Anyway, she's very polite. Always says hello when we pass by each other in the hall. She's one of those size double zero ladies. So skinny you could easily take her for a coat rack. A walking skeleton. I bet she only eats a leaf of lettuce a day. Or nothing at all. She looks quite ill, actually. Anything else? They used to have a cat, Lucifer. I often wonder what happened to the poor little chap. Cat named Lucifer. Uh, dog barking on floor one. One with a baby. Strange noises coming from flat seven. There are strange noises coming from flat seven. Interesting. What kind of noises? Like, screaming, explosions, guns. Then there are threats and insults shouted very loudly at someone. Hmm. I think I might know what's going on there. But it's worth checking anyway. Do you know the person who lives in that flat? No, I don't. It's the top floor. I have no business going up there. All I know is what I overheard from neighbors' gossips. Must be into online gaming. Uh, a woman with a baby must be a flat eight. There's a woman with a baby living upstairs. No husband? I'm not sure. I hardly ever see her. When I do, it's usually in the hall. When she's pushing a pram with a baby inside, she always has tons of shopping hanging from it. I nearly asked her once if she needed help to carry it upstairs. hesitated for a moment, and by the time I offered, she grabbed the baby and the shopping bags and marched off upstairs. <sighs> dog barking on floor one. Sometimes I hear a dog barking on floor one. I hate dogs. <laughs> Tell me about it. Noisy, smelly creatures. Can you imagine the eye of Adam being a dog lover? Can't see why not. In that case, it might be worth looking into. Ah, fellow dog haters. Love them. I'm pretty sure one of the flats is empty. Hmm. Which one? I think it's the one on the first floor. And that's what Okay. Have. I think that's all that we know at the moment.
mentioned a pram. This reminds me, I found an old baby pram in my bedroom, among all the stuff. Do you have kids, Miss Ashworth? You never talk about it. Uh-oh. Uh We're getting into dangerous territory, Mitzi. Um... No. No, I don't have children. But... You did, didn't you? Come on, Miss A, it's all right. You can talk to me about it. Let's just drink the coffee. Let's just drink our coffee, yeah? I just really want us to be friends. I swear to God I could do with one. I'm not very good at friendships. I thought that was rather obvious. Friends should trust each other, you know. I told you about Jack and everything else. Why can't you just do the same? You told me about Jack because you wanted to. I didn't force you, did I? My private stuff is nobody else's business. Why does everyone want to remind me of this all of a sudden? Isn't ten terrible years of suffering enough to let go and never bring it up again? Even... Even for me? Mitzi, you alright? Miss Ashworth, I, I'm so sorry. Your mug, it was an accident. yourself, did you? You know, just leave it. I don't even care anymore. Oh. Oh. This is that dickhead from upstairs again. I re really don't want to deal with this dickhead. Oh, lights already on. Uh, what the hell was number six's name? I forget now. Who is that? Hello? What? Flowers? Who the hell are you? Flowers. Who the hell are you? Pen. What... What's that... in your other hand? Uh, what? Go away. Leave me alone. Mitzi, call the cops. Mitzi, where are you? Mit fuck, where is she? Oh, fuck. Mitzi, hide. Shit! Oh, fuck. Uh. Where's Mitzi? There she. Oh, fuck. Run, Mitzi. Run. Run. Oh, you don't fade to black. God damn it. <sighs> oh, it's the crow again. Fan friggin' tastic. Welcome back to the Deadlands. Ugh. Must have got hit pretty friggin' hard.
Get bent, crow. <laughs> you lying jerk. <laughs> oh, now where the hell am I? <laughs> oh, great. Congratulations, Susan. You're dead again. How do you feel? Ugh. What the hell was with that psycho with the hammer? What the fuck? He just came out of freaking nowhere. Just... What? The hell? Seriously. I am so pissed right now. That made no sense. Did Six call in another friggin... Hitman? Ugh. God damn it. Uh, I'm... I'm frustrated now. I'm frustrated and what the fuck and I'm taking a break. A little break. Because I gotta do things. I'm out of time to do things. Anyway. Uh, save. We'll pick this up. Uh, next time. Yeah. So. Still got the burger in my inventory somehow. <laughs> I am so carrying that thing with me to the end of the game. If I can. I really hope I can. Because it should just, just be so freaking random. Maybe when we find the I Adam person, I can smack him with it. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Okay, so, yeah. That's it for this episode, or probably two at this point. Uh... See you later. Have a good one.